we need to determine the IUPAC name of this molecule. So the first step is to work out the longest carbon chain. So you could go one, two, three, four. Some of you might have gone one, two, three, four. By the way, the longest continuous chain is when you can draw the line without lifting up your pen, okay? So one, two, three, four, that's one of them, or one, two, three, four. So whichever way you go, four is the longest we could ever make. So I would start the naming with that. So four means butte, okay? Now let's look at the branches. So I'm gonna just do this one over here. So if we name it from the left-hand side, then the branch, would be this one over here. And that would be on carbon number two. If you had to name it from the right hand side, this would not be correct. Because then that would be carbon one, that would be carbon two, that would be carbon three, and that would be carbon four. So your branch would be on carbon number three, right? And the goal is to keep the branch numbers as low as possible with these types of alkanes. So we're gonna name it from this side. Okay, so on carbon number two, there is a one carbon branch. Now one means meth. Because it's a branch, you're gonna say while. Now, what type of molecule is this? Is this an alcohol, an ester, a carboxylic acid, an aldehyde, a ketone, a alkane, alkene, what is it? Well, there's only carbons and hydrogens, so it's either gonna be an alki alkane, alkyne, or alkene. There are only single bonds, so this is an alkane. So the name of an alkane just ends with A-N-E. So that is the name, 2-methyl or methyl butane. Whenever there is a number and a word, we always separate it with a hyphen.